PN junction diode. A diode is a resistive, nonlinear, passive electronic component, with two terminals whose function is to allow the flow of electric current in one direction, and virtually block it in the opposite direction. The terminals of diode are called anode and cathode. The electric current conventionally goes from the anode to the cathode. Opposite polarization of the diode will be opposed by a virtually infinite resistance. The diode blocks the current, reducing it to zero. Note To know the anode and cathode of a practical diode, a fine line is drawn around one side of the diode, which indicates cathode, while the other end represents anode. Diode is made up of semiconductors, like silicon, germanium, or compounds such as gallium arsenide or cadmium selenide. In this specific case, the diode is made up of silicon. Theoretically, pure silicon crystal has no free electrons in conduction band. For this reason, silicon has been doped. Doping means, impurity inclusion is made by diffusion of certain elements. In general, this is obtained by adding a very small percentage of atoms, spread within a silicon crystal lattice. These impurities, even in negligible amount, change the crystal's electrical behavior. And, these atoms are called, donor atoms. Since, they yield electrons to the crystal lattice of silicon. This creates two distinct parts within the diode, with two different charge levels. One part is doped, in order to obtain an excess of electrons, and therefore it is negatively charged. While the other is doped, in order to obtain an excess of holes, and therefore it is positively charged. We will call, N, to the negatively charged part, and P, to the positively charged part. Thus, it is called PN junction. Here, the atoms in N side, has a tendency to release electrons, and, as the P side is positively charged, it attracts the released electrons to the holes. So, border region of P side is negatively charged and border region of N side is positively charged. This creates to the depletion zone in the middle. Now, we connect the cathode to the positive pole and anode to the negative pole of a battery. By doing this, an inverse polarization or an inverse bias condition is obtained. The electrons and the holes are attracted such a way to polarize the PN junction to increase the depletion region and prevent the flow of current. And if we connect the positive pole of the battery to the P side of the diode, the situation changes completely. The diode is in the forward bias condition and the depletion region will shrink. This will cause the movement of electrons driven by electric potential imposed by the battery. When the electrons cross the potential barrier, their motion no longer meets resistance, and thus, more easily occupy the holes in the P-zone. Now, the electrons that occupied the P-side holes, due to the attraction of the positive pole of the battery, will move further, and occupy the nearby holes, and so on, until they flow through the external circuit. This condition is known as, direct polarization, or forwards bias condition of the diode. To know more, sign up to www.linksy.in.